This is Chicago's very own WGN News at Noon. Thank you, Steve. She is a communication expert who's led hundreds of people in seminars around the world to lead fulfilling lives at home, work, and in their communities. And today, Deborah Barisette is going to help us recession-proof our lives. Welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you, Dina. You know, we all know the recession is here, so I guess I'm wondering how can we be immune to it in our own lives? Right. Well, at a time like this, it's uncertain, and so many people are dealing with uh, financial challenges and worries, it's more important than ever to give yourself some power and peace of mind in the face of that. I read just yesterday that divorce filings are already up and they are predicting that this is because of the financial stress on marriages. How can you help to work together with your spouse for some of these, this financial turmoil? Yes, well, it's important to recognize first that it's normal to notice some sense of resignation or anxiety or powerlessness, but we have a great exercise that we offer our seminar participants in Landmark Education that allows you to really look at uh, what is happening with you and then what you can do about it. So for example, we invite people in our seminars to consider that the quality of your life is determined only 1% by what happens and 99% by how you react to what happens. That's amazing, those percentages. And so in thinking about that and saying, okay, this is the way that I'm going to react to this, you have specific points. One of them is just get clear about the facts. So you're not finger pointing at other people. You're not blaming, blaming your, you're not blaming your spouse or others around you. Just really have the facts straight. That's right. So we encourage people to sit down with a pencil and paper and just write down, okay, what's actually happened here? You know, have I lived, I've been laid off, or I know some people who have been laid off, or I paid some bills late and my interest rate went up and my credit score went down. What are the facts? Don't beat yourself up about it. And then you say share what you've added. That's right. So you want to look at when people have something happen in life, it's not just what happened. We add meaning, our interpretation, and our story about what happened. And then we operate like that is what's real. So you want to look and see for yourself, okay, well, what happened is I was laid off, and what I made up about that is that I'm a failure, or I'm bad with money because my credit score went down. Sure. And when you can get clear about that, it makes all the difference in the world. But you say don't just look back, look forward and, and create solutions together. That's right. So when you actually separate what happened from what you added to what happened, then you've got some freedom to really deal with what the facts are in your life, right? And you can look and see with some creativity and some peace of mind, what are some solutions? What are some options we can create together? And by doing that, you can let go of that guilt and blame and try to live happier even though you are a little stressed at this point. That's right. And that includes letting go of any blame of yourself to basically give yourself some room to just deal with what you're dealing with. And uh, people are incredibly resilient and creative human beings. And know yourself as that. It's such a great time to be talking about this because I think in the new year, people have a resolution to try to make their lives better, but they feel a little trapped. Sure, sure. And that, I think it's great. We encourage people to do this exercise. It makes a big difference. Deborah, it's great advice. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. We will be back with the top stories in just a moment. Don't go away.